guys and welcome to today's video. So today I have a what I eat in a day video for you guys. My last one you guys seem to really enjoy so I hope you guys enjoy this one just as much. I am currently a vegetarian so I don't eat any meat but I do have like bits of dairy here and there and eggs and stuff like that. I hope this video will be helpful to any of you guys who maybe just gone vegetarian or just need some meal ideas really. I do try to eat pretty healthily, I'm not the healthiest eater in the world, obviously, but who is? Before I get loads of comments, people telling me to go vegan, I'm not going to be going vegan for the foreseeable future, so don't waste your time typing out the comment because it's not going to happen within the next few months. Just letting you know. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get into it. So, to start out with breakfast, I always like to have a really kind of hearty meal for breakfast, I guess. I always want to have something that will really fill me up and kind of keep me going until lunchtime because I feel like it's so difficult to snack in between breakfast and lunch. Like, when you're at home, you can eat whatever you want, but like while you're out and about, it's so difficult to snack. So, I usually have this little potato thing. You guys have probably seen it in my vlogs before. Basically, you just cut up a potato into slices and kind of cook them like you'd cook chips. Try to make all of the little slices like an even size because if one's really thick and one's really thin they're gonna cook at different times and you're gonna be cooking one for 10 minutes one for five minutes it's gonna be really difficult to like keep an eye on them and cook them all properly i coat my pan with a quite a lot of olive oil i guess just kind of like coat all of the potatoes and then i just throw them in one by one and these take about 15 minutes to cook If you're cooking anything in oil, like make sure to keep an eye on it in case it sets fire. It probably won't, but just keep an eye on it just in case. Don't like leave the room, watch it cook. And you'll know when they're cooked because they kind of go this like golden brown color. They're kind of like chips, but like a healthier option that you can have for breakfast. So you kind of get the best of both worlds with this. <laughs> like to have scrambled egg for breakfast it's such a quick and easy like breakfast food to make I like to melt a little bit of butter in the pan and I usually do like two eggs per person so you can kind of you know fix it up to however many people you're serving food for if you're vegan and you don't want to eat eggs I'm sure you can find a substitute for this but I am vegetarian so I'm fine to eat this <laughs> Before I get any comments, I have thought about going vegan and in the future I would like to go vegan but for the foreseeable future it's not something I'm going to be doing. I like to have a little bit of like Philadelphia cream cheese on my scrambled egg, it makes it taste so good. After I've had my breakfast I like to have some coffee, I'm using, what is this, it's like a... What I don't know what it is. It's like K cups and like that, like a Keurig. I have no idea. It's a coffee machine, and I have a cup of coffee. So you know, the coffee. Woo! Yolo. Now on to dinner. Um, you guys probably know me, I have a sweet tooth. So even if I'm having vegetables, I like to have sugar with them because I have a sweet tooth and high cholesterol. Enjoy life. But I had some carrots, they're like my least. I hate vegetables, but you know, you've got to have them in there somewhere. So carrots with sugar on them, that's the best I'm gonna do. Mmm, lovely vegetables.
had these Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages. If you are thinking about going vegetarian or vegan or anything like that, these are great. They taste like sausages. The texture of them are like normal sausages. I don't know how you do it and they're suitable for vegans. I also had some mash because I was trying to film this in a bit of a hurry. I had this like packet mash. If you can make the mash yourself, it's going to be a lot better. But you know what? Let's go with a ready-made mash, you know? Don't tire your arms out. Oh, I added a little bit of cheese to my mash as well, just to make it a little bit thicker and taste nicer. You know, mash is kind of bland, like mushed up potatoes. Let's add some cheese. And this is the finished result. A very British, like, dinner slash lunch option. Then for, like, dinner slash tea, I just had some sweet potato chips. I had quite a lot of food throughout the day, so I just had a little light meal, which consisted of sweet potato chips and ketchup. It's very easy to make. So yeah, that is it for my what I ate in a day video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. Um, comment below telling me your favourite meal. What is your favourite thing to eat? It can be anything. Like, if it's a Cocoa Pop sandwich, still let me know. I'm interested. So yeah, I think that's everything that I have to say to you guys. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!